Today, I am going to be talking about Miria, which is a very low cap gaming gem, which could, and I express the word could, 100x your money if certain things go your way. Now, before I get into it, guys, I want to just let you guys know this video isn't financial advice. Always do your own research before investing your money. Also, let me know in the comment section down below, are you bullish on Miria? Put in the comment section down below if you are bullish, if you are bearish. I'm very much interested in my community's response. Also, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, and we'll get straight into the video. Now, this video may be quite controversial. Some of you guys may completely agree with me, and some of you guys may completely disagree with me. My view on Miria is right in the middle. I'm neither bearish nor am I completely and utterly bullish. And this makes, makes me hated by both sides. So the people who hate Miria hate this video, and the people who love Miria will also hate this video. So I'm somewhere in the middle. This is my stance on Miria. I love the project as a project. As an investment, I'm somewhat in the middle because of the dilution that is going to take place over the next two years. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more later on in the video. So make sure to stick around because that's a very key and important part of the video to not miss. So starting off with the actual product, okay? Myriad is a gaming cryptocurrency hub, kind of like a gala, but potentially with even more games um, on offer, right? So you've got all these different games. Myriad has both their own studios, but they also have the ecosystem developer. So this allows for incentivization of even more people building games on this ecosystem, which is really, really great to see. Now, there's a few games that really take my eye on Myria and I think look really cool. We've got this first one here, which is MetaCart. This one looks like a simple, fun game that you can play and just have some fun with. And then you've got this one, which I think could be the main hit, the main hit game, and that is Block Royale. Now, that is on PC, Mac ios and android and it looks very similar to a fortnite type game really cool graphics but also the fact that it's a battle royale type game means that it's going to get a lot of people on the edge of their seats because those types of games are extremely extremely popular then we've got this one as well here called zone 9 i believe this one looks pretty cool as well so there is a plethora of different games on miria's ecosystem that pique my interest and make me look at it and make me very interested. And that is the beauty of allowing for mainstream developers to come onto Miria and put their games on here. Now, there are a few games that look pretty rubbish, you know, anime, you know, cartoon games, I think. Um, I don't really know. I don't, I don't watch those cartoons. But what I do know is some people like that, right? A lot of kids like playing those games, like enjoying them. And, um, you know, we'll obviously want to play those games. And I know SSM Crypto, my friend, will also like playing those games. So they're not for me, but there's definitely people who like playing those types of games. We've got another one here, again, with really, really good graphics called Meta Shooter. So in terms of actual quality of games, Miria is right up there. In terms of quantity of games, Miria is also right up there. So in terms of the actual product, they've got both quantity and quality so in that uh domain they are i would say a nine out of ten in terms of product in terms of the people behind miria you've also got a lot of intelligent people behind this project which is again a very beneficial thing you've got people from i believe ea i think the founder is from ea correct me if i'm wrong correct me if i'm mistaken it with gfal but there's definitely people who are on the team of this project, who are strongly, strongly linked to Web2 giants in the gaming space. Now, we've got a couple issues now with Miria, and this is the thing with me, is why I'm not going and throwing $50,000 into this project, because of the fact of token dilution. And we're going to get straight into that right now. So you go onto their page, you can go onto the token page here, and you can see kind of how the, the tokens are obviously going to be allocated and how that's going to work. But then if you go on to the part where it talks about the um, vesting schedule and the token unlock schedule, it's somewhat broad, okay? It's, it's not very specific. It's not really 
actually telling me how many tokens are going to be out in 2025. Maybe I'm seeing this wrong. But my main issue with Myriad is the circulating supply. And I'm going to show you that right now. So according to CoinMarketCap, the circulating supply is a very, very low level of, is that 8%? Okay. So it's 8% circulating supply. Now, this seems to have changed because I think it was actually lower. So if someone in the comments could confirm this to me, what the actual circulating supply for Miria is, that would be very good because I genuinely don't know because it said 2 or 3% a few weeks ago, and now it's saying 8%. So if that is the rate in which tokens are coming out, it's obviously not good, um, but it's obviously better if it is higher. So we can see that Miria has a total um, max supply and total supply of 50 with a circulating supply of four. So that would obviously mean eight, right? 50 times two is 100, four times two is eight. So 8% according to this. Now I've seen even lower percentages before as well. So I don't genuinely know. It would be good if CoinMarketCap could integrate a system where you can see the actual dilution rate. You can see the tokens coming out. You know how you can see price and market cap? It would be good if there was also tokens coming out, circulating supply, and you could see it going up over time. That would be great. So that is my slight concern with Miria is the circulating supply percentage. Now it's 8%. It was lower. So I'll give it to them. It's getting better. But the problem with those dilution is the fact that you're going to have a downward pressure on the price. So you're going to have kind of like a supply demand issue. If the demand cannot keep up with the supply coming out, you're going to have an issue in terms of price. Now, I believe it will. I believe the demand will be higher than the, the, than the supply. I think Miria will go up in price. And when you look at the market cap, it's 4 million. I personally believe Miria can get to a market cap of 400 million. And that would be 100x market cap. Now, the question is, 100x market cap, what does that then mean for the price? Well, if Miria 100x is in market cap, the price will probably only do like a 20x or a 30x. So that's the thing to be cautious of. Are you really risking this project just for a 30x in terms of price? That's the question. Now, I think it could even do more than that. I think Miria could do a 200x. And then in that case, it becomes debatable about whether you should invest or not. So my personal belief on whether or not you should invest in Miria, and this is not financial advice, is... How much X do you think the market cap can get to? If you believe it can do more than a 200X, then that can justify your, your investment in this token. If you believe it will do less than 100X, then it is not worth taking the risk of the dilution threat. You might as well just invest in Gala and get your 20 or 30X rather than getting a 20 or 30X on this, if that makes sense. So for me, the token has a hell of a lot of potential. I really do love the project, but this is what I would do. What I would do is grab a node because I think the node will actually allow for a very good level of balance between the tokens coming out. So you've got that obvious risk of dilution, but grabbing a node allows for you to get basically paid income from Miria. So over time, you're buying tokens, you're getting tokens essentially. So for me, a node is the best bet if you're looking at investing in Miria. If you can't afford a node, the other option is to just DCA in over time. Because as we get close to the, closer to the bull run, you're going to see a lot of demand into this token in my view. So if you, if you just buy every month and gradually DCA in, that's obviously less risk than just buying in a bulk sum right now. So my view is this year, you're probably not going to make any real good gains on Miria. But as you come closer to the 2024 halving and as you get closer to the crypto bull run, I think you're going to see a huge amount of demand flood into this project and a massive, massive shock in terms of price. And you could see something like Gala. I'm going to show you guys the Gala chart right now. So take a look at Gala. All of this time before the bull run, very similar to Miria, all of this time Gala was just trading sideways. It was only until you got to the, the halving and after the halving, once you got into the bull run year of 2021, it was only until then you saw those huge, huge pumps in price. Maybe we're going to see something very similar with Miria. 
You see a lot of sideways mo movement as more tokens come out and people kind of avoid investing in it due to that risk. And then as you get closer, as you get closer to the bull run, people realize actually the circulating supply is much better now. It's probably a worthwhile investment. And then that's when the FOMO comes in and that's when people make good gains. So I, this is my stance on Miria. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's the best investment in gaming. However, I do believe it's a decent investment and I'm not going to oppose anyone who decides to invest in this token. In fact, I'm considering it myself. I'm considering grabbing a node very, very soon. So thank you guys all for watching this video. If you have not already, make sure you left a, a subscribe and a like on the video. Let me know in the comment section what you think about my analysis. Do you agree? Do you disagree? It's not an echo chamber here. I'm fully open to um, your opinions. Also, guys, hit that link in the description. Check out my Patreon page. If you like low-cap gaming gems, this is the right place to be because I'm hunting for those next 100x gems and those next 1,000x gems. If you think Miria is degen and you think Miria is low-cap, wait until you join this group and you see some of the projects which I'm buying and my Patreons are sharing. There's a lot of different tiers, so you can take your pick depending on what ones you like. Go and read the benefits that you get in each tier. But without a doubt, and this is non-debatable, the best value for money tier is the VIP plus tier because you get all the good stuff in terms of tracking my portfolio. You get instant buy alerts, instant sell alerts, stake alerts, all of that good stuff. But you also gain access to VIP webinars. Monday to Friday, I do a webinar every single day. You can literally ask me what you want the topic of the webinar to be, and there's a very good chance I'll do it. I review my Patreon's portfolios. I also um, talk about my strategy going forward, what I'm seeing in the market in much more depth over there. So I would definitely check it out. And you get that VIP Telegram group. This is the one that everyone wants to be in. It's a very, very, very active group of like-minded investors. We've got millionaires in here. We've got multi-millionaires in here. We've got people on the teams of projects and people in major crypto companies. So hit the link in the description, check it out. There's a lot of intelligent people in this group and I even sometimes learn stuff from them. So I would definitely join, get that crypto network, forge your minds with loads of other people and I'm sure you'll be much better off than being a lone wolf. Also, just take a look at my track record, guys. I've predicted so many cryptos just in the last six months that have gone absolutely crazy. Just you wait until the bull run hits. I'm going to be naming all of those projects that do those 100Xs. So get in now while you can. The prices will rise for new members. So if you're a pre-existing member, the price will not rise. But eventually it's going to get to a point where it's full and I will make a new tier with the same things, but for a higher price. So join now while you can. If you want to book a one-to-one -one call with myself, join the boss tier. You can go over any of your crypto needs. If you want me to look through your portfolio and just say some opinions on it, if you want me to review an altcoin that you have or just talk about strategy, right? DCAing, taking profits, those types of things, setting you up on some exchanges, I can definitely help you out with that. Also, if you want the most affordable budget tier, check out that elite tier. That gives you my buy alert. So when I drop those low cap gems that go absolutely crazy, you can be in it and you can win it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.